You have to be able to play the ball one way and the other around a golf course to shoot good numbers. It's just a non-negotiable, okay? You need to be able to move a ball the way you want when you need it, okay? And then refining it takes some skill, but you've got to be able to make it happen, okay? So, um, obviously, you know, playing a draw and fade, you can look up that on the internet and you see bunches of different ways to do it. I'm going to teach you the simplest way, right? the, the most, <laughs> yeah, the good, as <laughs> they um, which I've found to be really, I guess, also the most precise, right? So, we've set up a club on the ground here in line with the ball. That lines up basically with our destination down the end, our target, okay? So that is what we're gonna be calling our, our start um, line, so to speak, or our target line, okay? And at the moment, it's just pointing at the, at, um, the pin, right? So when we talk about a fade, we'll do the fade first in, uh, and, and discuss the draw at a later date, right? The fade is really just starting the ball left of your target and bringing the ball back to your target. It's as simple as that. So as you look down here, for those that don't know what a draw or fade is, it's starting it out that way, bringing it back in for a right hander. So the tip I'll give you today, it's more about, I guess, a specific um, way to play this. So when you set up square, if I wasn't to change anything here, and I just opened the club face, uh, that's all I did, and then I just swung down my normal club path, the ball would start only a little bit right on my start line, and it would fade off that, because I haven't really changed anything else, right? So I've changed one element, just my club face, and the ball will move off it. Now, my start line's at the pin, so that can't necessarily happen, because you're gonna go right. So all you then do is you, I've always told people to do this, set up squarely, but in the direction of something you wanna hit it at that's left of the target. So down here at the pin, you can pick a tree that you're pretty happy that you wanna start at. Set up your whole body, precisely, and I mean really precisely, at that tree, right? You might even walk in and do that by putting your club down first, club pointing right at the tree, set your feet, hips, shoulders, all parallel to that line. Then quite simply loosen your grip off, open the club face, but look at your tree. Don't look at your target or your end destination, right? Look at your tree. And that tree becomes your only focus point. So when you make your swing and you're swinging through impact, your club, technically still comes from the back of the ball, but just on the different arc you're on. None of this glancing blow stuff, and you start to actually pierce a ball out at your target, your target line, and then move it off it. And that's exactly how Jack Nicholas used to play his fades. Um, he's, he's a name drop, he loves this. Um, playing with him at, or not playing, oh. caddying with him at Augusta with Norman. Um, we, uh, he was talking about three shots you can hit, one shot you can't hit. And he was suggesting playing in this manner, all right? And I'll set up squarely to do this. He's suggesting if you want to play a fade, if you just open your face, if you hit it perfect, it fades off of centre. Happy days, all right? If you overcut it by accident, it's still going to be quite okay. It's going to find your green or your, um, your fairway. And if you don't cut it by accident, if you get a little bit handsy, it's going to go dead straight. But at least you've hit your target line on all occasions and move slightly off it left or right. There's only one shot you can't hit there, and that's using your hands by accident and you pull hook it, and you should get penalised for that, all right? So if you change one element, and that element being club face, and that's it, you really can still be really precise about what you're trying to hit at, and that isn't the pin. That's whatever, wherever you're trying to start it. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, so instead of instead of uh, setting up and going, looking at the pin and going, all right, I'm, I'm, there's the pin, I'm aiming there, and looking at the pin, trying to Cut that far, you hit there. Yeah. At that point, at the tree. 100%. And, and Alan, Alan he was amazing at this. Yeah. And when we go into the draw, that one. Yeah. yeah. And when we go into the draw section, talking about draws because he loves his draws, he was really good at picking a start line, starting the ball at that, and moving it off it. And that's the way you do this. You can't afford to be glancing the ball massively as you do it, right? So I'm going to get you to do this in a minute. I'm going to jump out of the hot seat, and you can you can try your little fade. But you're good at this, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, but I'm going to get you to get really specific about what you're starting it at, and we're going to judge that, all right? So we'll swap positions here. Okay, so you're in a hot seat now, mate. Time to put into practice. So I want you to first of all pick a target, and in this, right, when you pick a target, pick it so that if you stuff it up and you hit it straight, you're still okay, right? Yeah. So if you look down there towards the hole, where's still okay if you hit it straight? Pretty much just on that mound. Yeah, exactly, because that catches edge of green, right? Yeah. So he's basically put, picked a line here that means that if he doesn't quite get this right, he's still going to find a portion of the green. So you never want to aim outside of an okay zone, right? So put your face down 100% pointed in that direction. Yep, and then align your body best as you can to that target. 
feel like I'm right at it now. Right, perfect. Okay, so you've got your start line and you've done your best you can to, to align to it. Now to swivel the blade a few degrees open, and when I say a few degrees, it's not much. Okay, yeah, that's it. All right, that's all you need to, need to do. Then, then re-grip re -grip it. Re -grip. Another important distinction, I've seen so many people just open their blade with their hands, doesn't change anything because your relationship to the face hasn't changed at all. So open your blade and then grab it. Obviously that's ridiculously open, but we're only looking for a tiny bit. And basically now you're in, in good shape. Now when you set up for this shot, I don't mind you looking at the pin, all right, just to get a feel for the shot. Yep. All right, but I really want you actually focusing on your start line, and that's where I want you pr to pretend you're hitting the ball, okay? So my target's still the mound. Just target's the mound, exactly. Yep. Really, really be specific <laughs> about trying to swing towards the mound, right? Don't swing across it, okay? And then just pull the trigger. Normal swing. Normal yeah. swing. Flash. Oh my god, it's actually fading. It could go <laughs> in. On the pin. Length. Oh! oh! All right. <laughs> He's got stiff. So keep it simple, change one element of your face, pick a start line, nail your start line and just have your face alternate off it.